This is from CVSSports.com, predicting the last place team in each NFL division for 2023. Uh, for the AFC North, they go with the Browns. Uh, the rationale, kind of head scratching though. Browns weren't able to make many offseason moves as Deshaun Watson's acquisition cost three first round picks plus five year $230 million fully guaranteed extension absorbed much of their maneuverability. Um, okay. If you want to say that, they added Juan Thornhill, Zadarius Smith, Obo Okunronquo, Dalvin Tomlinson, Elijah Moore, Marquise Goodwin, Rodney McLeod, Jordan Akins, Maurice Hurst. Most of them at positions that they really needed with wide receiver and defensive line. And if you want to look at it as a $230 million acquisition fee, it's your first full season with Deshaun Watson, so you added a new starting quarterback. I'm not sure that the facts kind of fit the narrative that you're trying to cram in there. Yeah, I just can't with this narrative. That's To me, that's just lazy. That's not understanding the scope of things. If anything, Andrew Barry should get an award for being hamstrung with that contract and being able to bring that talent in. If this thing goes south, it isn't going to be for the lack of talent that was acquired this offseason. It's, I would argue, look league-wide. Who else brought this much talent in? And we're talking about a roster that already had a good base level of talent with elite players at premier positions. You know, to me, it's this is a laughable take. Yeah, and I get it. They didn't sign any of the top 10 free agents, but you had Miles Garrett, you had Denzel Ward, you had Nick Chubb, you had Batonio, you had Teller. You had a good core, and you still addressed needs. Isn't that the definition of a really good GM? The cupboard wasn't bare and they still stocked with all the extras. You know what I mean? This is, to me, this is, I don't know. If you're going to point to something, this isn't going to be it. There's not, you're not going to say that they, they just weren't able to bring the talent in that they needed to win. They got the players they needed at the positions that needed to have it. Like it was, to me, it was textbook, you know, and they and they did it without giving up the, the farm for really anything. I think Tomlinson's probably the the biggest chunk, you know what I mean? But you had to get you had to do something in that position. So that's the reason he got what he got. But if you're just looking across the board, they were able to get value, you know, and and add players that we're, we're talking about. Now the Browns have the number one edge duo. Well, that's because you went and traded for Zadarius Smith. You didn't even give up a pick. You just pick swapped. You know what I mean? It was excellent maneuverability and I can't get there with this take. 